basically like um saying that like that like reboot versions of of like people tend to like tend to like like the OG type of type of type of like characters on TV shows and not like the reboots because I literally just showed all of you that people just like the original Charlie and not the live action Charlie at all. Because if there are rare comments saying that they like the new Charlie, then oh well. There's a rare type of SML fans that like him and others that don't. And also, this is also like I've been saying that that many people can like honestly say that um that if they also call out people who cut off like the original like like creator and director because of the controversy that they got in i bet people would would say that the sml um kind of called out the wrong type of type of people because because um because that would be kind of like making fun of the fans that call out, you know, the original creators and writers and directors that got into controversy with this and that. So, you know what I'm talking about, if you know what I'm talking about. I already explained this in part two. Um, but like I said, um, because I was going to talk about the whole Yandroids dev thing let's just move on from this because i bet some people are not going to want to talk me to talk about this for long so basically like i said um, and like um and like part two of this video basically yandre dev got into some like controversy because one he was caught after so many years of being called like a like a creep and being that type of person who's just i guess cringeworthy he's basically been working on the um the um yandere simulator game for so long but never finished it even though like people kind of called him out because he did like a 1980s mode of the of the um of the um series and i basically i basically said this before but i think but um because he got he got actually caught being an actual creep he kind of you know got called out for that specific reason and instead of replacing like somebody to like to like develop the game for him you see because because um there were fans like i said that called him out for making the 1980s mode um um like rivals like right away all done and finished but not finished enough to like have any voice um actors or female actors because actresses people don't really use that term anymore um, it's kind of like saying in a way that, that like, I don't know if like, Yandroid Dev couldn't either, either like find new uh, people to like voice the characters or he just got lazy and rushed, rushed the, not the 1980s mode. And basically, like I said, people must have well a small percentage of people must have called him out 
for for this because um because in the original modern version of Yandere Simulator, none of the other rivals are there yet, but but the um but the um but the 1980s mode already has its like characters all all done and such and and it's just and it's just like so so right to like call out Yandre Death for this because like dude just finish the rivals like you did for the 1980s mode don't be doing all this all this I'm too lazy to finish them type of shit you know also um to anybody who doesn't go to the community tabs um I think like like people should in case no like fans of a specific like YouTube channel or YouTube creator um if you're like a fan of another creator who's not Yandere Dev um let's just say this right people should should go to the community tabs in case they want to actually know why the creator hasn't either been like like uploading or or like doing anything recently because community tabs usually help those that want to like figure out why exactly they they don't upload anything on YouTube that much or that often because this can help you as to what's going on with a creator because basically on his community tab for Yandere Dev basically he said that that basically he just set the video to private and I did mention this in my old video because apparently like the victim who accused him of of the controversy that he's in now that caused him to you know be in this whole like be in this whole yandere sam is now like like over now because because um the creator of that game did this and that and yeah so anyways um i don't know if yandere simulator yandere simulator the game he's been working on uh, eh, he's been working on now is like nowadays ruined because of the controversy but yeah i don't know if people might still say that that playing yandere simulator is still bad because people may say that that it's still in a way saying that you're supporting the the creator of of the game and because um Yandere Simulator is like is like no longer a thing because you know like Biju Mike the creator who used to like support and do a bunch of Yandere like things on his channel that that he loved to do back then is now ruined Cub Scouts which I'm pretty sure Yandere Dev love to do so much. Um, if you know who I'm talking about, then you must know of Jay from the Cub Scouts. I think, yeah, because if you might have mistaken me for, for um, for um, talking about like an actual Cub Scouts type of camp, no, there's an actual dude who. Who has an intro going? Um, it's Jay from the Cub Scouts or something like that, or saying, "Hey guys, it's Jay from the Cub Scouts or something like that." Anyways, nobody is like voice acting or like doing videos of Yandere Simulator anymore in these days due to controversy with the 
creator and developer himself, Yandere Dev, because of the controversy and and to those that's that's like that's like still playing the game, good luck with people in your comments like talking about the controversy that that's gonna occur with you still playing the game because eesh, this is not gonna look good for anybody who may still get controversy because it might be a reminder to people saying hey it's just you know not appropriate to play this game and to anybody wondering why I'm still sub to Yandere Dev? It's because at this point, I'm not really interested in watching the videos like the music goals or anything like that. But look, he does actually mention in his sub subscription that I think he must have changed or he must have added, saying that like that like children shouldn't be playing the game. And that people like under like 13 should not be like watching the videos on on this channel or on YouTube because you know it's a violent game. So yeah. Anyways guys. I don't know. Anyways. Thank you all for watching. This is Samuel Young and I am. Basically out.